All right, here we are back again with a little bit of algebra. We are in Chapter 4, Section 5, Analyzing Lines of Fit. We're just going to take a couple of notes, and then we're going to look over this in class. So first thing we're going to look at and write down in our notes is this graph right here, and then the word residuals. Okay, When you are plotting a line of fit, the line of fit does not have to touch all of the data points. It doesn't even have to touch any of the data points. Okay, so if we have a, a line of fit and there's a data point that's not on that line, the distance from the line to that data point is called the residual. Okay, if it's above the line, it's a positive residual. If it's below the line, it's a negative residual. And a scatter point, point of residuals can show how well the model fits the data set, and we will look at that in class tomorrow. Um, finally, what I want you to write down is the closer the sum of residuals is to zero, the better the line of fit. So here we have 2 and 3. So this is negative 2 and positive 3. Add those together, we are at uh, 1. Okay, So that's not too far away from 0, but depending on what the other points are, we might get closer or further away from zero. And then finally, I want you to write this chart. Copy this chart down into your notes. Leave some space next to it over here because we're going to be expanding this tomorrow. All right, so leave some space. Right, Copy this chart down into your notes along with the equation here that models the data in the table. All right, so copy that down. That's the last thing, and we will look at the rest of this tomorrow in class. Good times in the matherhood.